Okay, yeah, now we're not getting procs. Now we decided we were just not gonna get any procs. Okay. Okay, now we're getting procs and we did up to 16k. So if you get in the Sinister Strike procs back to back, you can actually do up to 16k in your burst DPS. Jesus Christ. Imagine this with some serious fucking daggers. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and boy do I look ugly. But that's because I haven't really got to transmog this set, mostly because this video is going to be a very interesting video. You know what we're going to be doing? We're going to be playing Outlaw and using us some daggers. Why are we using daggers? Because we're going to be breaking all the rules in the world. What if I told you that the boys over in Reverend Hold which is a website you guys should check out, maybe even join their Discord. I'll leave their Discord link down in the description because this information really came from them. What if they discovered a way to play Outlaw with daggers with Slice and Dice, only using two buttons? Well, I mean, if you don't count cooldowns like Killing Spree or Adrenaline Rush, but if you literally just spam Sinister Strike until your enemy was dead. I haven't got to try this method whatsoever. This is brand new. So I'm kind of just doing this live with you guys to see if this is any decent for a Slice and Ice build. Now, majority of the time people will tell you that Slice and Ice is not... It's okay. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it does make a difference between like 12,000 DPS and 11,000 DPS. Now, these DPS numbers are before any of the raids and Mythic Plus dungeons are out. So if you're watching this video by the time dungeons are out, at this time, getting around 12, 13, maybe 14 is the highest second week of Battle for Azeroth. So in this video, we want to take a look at this brand new build and where it ranks with everything else. Now, I simmed my character a couple times. I am simming at raid bots at about 12.3 k worth of dps so in this one we want to run the sims as well as test this build for ourselves against the train dummy to see if it's any good or not now what i'm going to be doing in the background of this video as we're making our way to the train dummies is getting myself a quick sim for my character to see what the website is thinking of so the sims just came in and this build is getting in sims about 8.6 20 dps and that's a very low number compared for the item level that i have the item level i'm rocking is 340 41 so let's talk a bit about the theory what is the snake build so i can take a look at it uh with you guys live i haven't got to take a look at it at all so i'm trying this out for the first time what is this brand new playstyle? to follow the twitter account that gave me the information i'm supposed to run this build i'm supposed to run weapon master because it's going to be a lot of sinister strikes for the damage I'm running Acrobatic Strikes, Vigor for the spam, Cheat Death, it doesn't really matter what you go run this row, it doesn't really matter what you run with this row, Slice and Dice, and Killing Spree, I guess Killing Spree just because you need some AoE burst damage if ever necessary. And the reason it's called a Snake build because we will be running Snake Eyes. For each combo point spent on Slice and Dice, it causes the next 5 Sinister Strikes to deal 327 additional damage. Now I have that buff, times 3 on all three of my pieces and of course i have some extra bonuses here but those don't really matter as much the fact is we have this extra bonus now part of this build which is the weird part is you actually are running two daggers so i'm running myself a haste dagger with mastery uh in uh, offhand and a haste crit one in the main hand i don't have these gemmed i don't have them enchanted just because i want to see what's it like to for this build to run i don't want to have to put in all the enchants and then uh, and find out that it does maybe like no damage most of the rest of my gear is focused on haste, uh, has a bit of critical strike, uh, not that much mastery. Actually, this is like the most mastery I've had from some of these pieces, actually, and uh, trying to focus on versatility for the rest of it. So the idea behind this build in the rotation is you're supposed to get yourself five sinister strikes. So one, two, three, four, slice and dice. So now you have snake eyes where you sort of strikes deal additional 3,555 additional damage. So 6k, 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 6k. And then you just slice and then back to 6k, 6k, 6k. What is this? I am holding it about almost as high as 7k DPS with sinister strikes alone. What? <laughs> the highest hit is a crit. Wait, what, what did I just remove it? Uh, the highest crit on normal is about 6k. And the crit is about 5k, so uh, normal thing didn't crit yet. Oh my god, what is this? Maybe daggers means I'm getting more attacks. More auto attacks means more chances for mastery. Chances for mastery have a chance for me to reward energy back through combat potency. Is at least my thought process here with this. 
I have more chances to get myself 10 energy because my offhand attacks have a 75% chance to get 10 energy. I don't know why my main hand has... Uh, why am I rolling dagger in the main hand to begin with? Okay, so let's try getting a normal opener on a training dummy. So what we're going to do as part of this build is the amount of combo points spent into your sinister strike. For each combo point, it increases the damage of your next sinister strike. So we're going to get our vanish. Uh, we're going to get our ambush, vanish, ambush uh, opener. Get ourselves a slice and dice. And then we're just going to spam five sinister strikes into a slice and dice. Five sinister strikes into slice. You guys ready? This is, we're doing this live. Bam. Bam. Sinister strike. We're getting like... Two. Three. Four. Five. Reroll. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh! Oh look, every time it has a, a secondary uh, Sinister Strike, it actually doesn't... Okay, so if I get like a, a proc for Sinister Strike, it actually takes it up. Alright, cool, so you're supposed to watch out for procs actually. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so what I think what happens is, my, when you have a dagger in your main hand, you have more chances for you to get your mastery procs. So master works of your, your main hand attacks have a 30% chance to trigger an attack with your off hand. So that's where you have a dagger, so you have a higher chance to trigger that mastery, and it's set at 30%. And then you have your offhand swing in, which has a chance to trigger common potency, and as far as I remember, mastery does have a chance to trigger common potency, as offhand abilities, even the ones of mastery, have a chance, 75% chance to generate an energy. So you basically are trying to use fast weapons to trigger mastery as often as you can, and offhand attacks with your offhand weapon, so then you can trigger common potency as often as you can, giving you back the energy so you can spam Sinister Strike, if that makes any sense. Bam, Sinister Strike, and then, okay, and Sinister Strike again, oh my god, 13k, what is this burst, and we're gonna reroll again, and I guess when you're out of energy, feel free to use Killing Spree, and we're doing 13k DPS, we can do one more Sinister Strike, reroll, Sinister Strike, Sinister Strike, are we getting procs? We are getting a little bit of procs here and there. Yep. That's value. Another value proc. Didn't get the proc, which is perfect. And I feel like with higher haste numbers, you can actually get even more damage out of this. And I have a lot of haste in my gear anyway. I guess if you get a little bit of crit too, maybe a bit of versatility, you can actually get some big damage out in the opener. That is so weird. Oh my god. I'm maintaining 11k. So if I, imagine if I had better daggers. Imagine if I had better dagger weapons. I feel like I could get a lot more damage out of this. I could get a, mo a lot more value out of this. I mean, for a build that utilizes two buttons, essentially, this isn't bad at all. Again, this build utilizes literally two buttons. So if you get better gear, if you get better daggers, I feel like you could actually get some decent damage in here. I also want to try the AoE of this. I want to see how strong this is. So we're going to AoE them. Then get our snake buff in there. Here we go. Sinister Strike's back in there. <laughs> and one more. And re-roll. And Sinister Strike's in there. And to see if we can get a Blade Flurry in there. More Sinister Strikes. More Sinister Strikes. Re-roll. More Sinister Strikes. Sinister Strikes. And didn't get the proc. Re-roll. So on AoE, we were pulling about two, up to 20k at one point. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> that's actually pretty thick. Aula is a bursty spec though, so it seems like if you are playing a bursty playstyle, during your blade flurry window, if you can get a bunch of procs for your uh, snake eyes, you can really do some big damage. Ambush, ambush, pa pa pa. Okay, here we go. Procs, please. Procs, please. Okay, procs happening. Procs are happening. Kinda, sorta. Proc, please. Please. Yeah, uh, I'm getting screwed by the RNG right now. That could have been some big damage just now. Maybe you're not supposed to use Ambush in the opener with this playstyle. You're supposed to get as much value out of that Ambush, right? You're supposed to maybe be... Uh, or Adrenal Rush. You're supposed to Ambush, Vanish, Ambush, then Adrenal Rush, then go ham. Alright, final go. We're gonna give it with Daggers. We're gonna give it the best shot we can. So what we're gonna do is Ambush, Vanish, Ambush, then Slice and Dice. Then Adrenal Rush. So we can get a bunch of that energy in there. Okay, yeah, now we're not getting procs. Now we decided we we're just not gonna get any procs. Okay. Okay, now we're getting procs and we did up to 16k. So if you're getting the Sinister Strike procs back to back, you can actually do up to 16k in your burst DPS. 
definitely was a good idea to save a drone watch for a later time. Jesus Christ. Imagine this was some serious f***ing daggers. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is absolutely nuts. This is insane. This is actual insanity. Oh my god. Now that we're sliding down in damage though. This is where it goes downhill. So we're kind of hoping for like the procs for the uh... Wait, can I right click that buff off? Oh, it still does it. Okay, cool. I was wondering if it like m removes the cannon. So this is very heavily RNG build, I think. But this is so fun and so weird. I, I, I mean, I already, it already met my expectations for a two button build, like for a literal two button build, it already met my expectations. I, I mean, I couldn't get any more out of it. Okay, I think it's time for us to take a look at this build and tell you my thoughts. It has potential. Let's first make it clear. It's a two button build. Like, how much can you, can you expect this build to just obliterate in damage? Literally, if Outlaw Rogue two-button build obliterated in damage consistently every single time, Blizzard would have to nerf this to shit. They would have to destroy the whole spec and burn it to the ground. So, I am glad that a two-button build isn't doing, like, consistent, insanely, increasingly high, ridiculous damage. So, this is actually a good thing that it's not doing that. No matter how you guys look at it, it is a good thing. I don't want this build to do incredible damage, but it does do damage and it has chances where if you get a little bit lucky and of course with gear involved, you can get some actually decent damage for a two button rotation. Now, it isn't perfectly like, you know, some kind of a predictable rotation that you can make in a cast sequence. It actually does need you to watch out for the buff because the extra slashes from Saber Slash do uh, take away a stack of that snake buff but with this snake build uh with double dagger with these type of talents working with slice and dice killing spree weapon master you can actually have yourself a somewhat competitive very easy two button rotation out the rogue build that utilizes daggers so if any of you are playing uh assassination if any of you are playing subtlety and you want to give outlaw a go and if for whatever reason you have a bunch of pieces of gear with snake eyes buff just laying around for no reason you can give this build a go as well and all it is is just sinister strike into slice and dice so you can sinister strike into slice and dices how much was the highest my damage my highest critical strike for slice and dice was about 12k my normal hits maximum was about 6k average about well 6k ish so average uh, damage of sinister strike I rounded out to about 7.2 melee did a little bit of damage uh, mastery did a little bit of damage and then of course my trinkets and such yeah it seems that my um, cannon trinket does do damage but it just doesn't show up here anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always the credit goes to the rev and hold boys you guys can find their discord channel and the original link in the description down below join their channel for some of the guys out there that are trying to get the information out i'm just here trusting testing out this build to see if it's viable my final thoughts are i think this could actually work but of course it's not going to be the top build if you are trying to find a build that plays with slice and dice and maybe even an easier build for outlaw which i think outlaw is already an easy as a spec besides the buff mechanic which is more like making judgment calls it's not really like a difficult rotation type of build i think that this actually kind of uh it's interesting it's i th what i like about it is the fact that you get to utilize azroid bonuses in order to craft a build and you're getting these wacky type of combinations probably with perfect stats and perfect gear you can actually kind of maintain yourself in the mid to mid high damage charts i don't think you'll be blowing everybody out of the water unless you're getting the proc for weapon master soon to strike second t chance to hit unless you're getting that consistently back to back to back almost every single sinister strike then uh i don't think this build will just be like you know ahead of the pack just but just because so you are playing with, with dice you are playing with chances so if you get a right chance for it you can get some big damage if you don't get the right chance at least you get some average damage which i guess isn't terrible either so this is interesting and i kind of sort of like it Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And let me know your comments below. You let me know your thoughts below. And give this build a go if for whatever reason you do have the, uh, the snake eyes buff or trait available on yourselves. Thank you all, and I'll see all of you in the next one.